Hey makers this is Ruvin and today I comes up with another great video for the new feature of Power Apps we all know that as a developer in Power Apps at a time a single developer can work this is the biggest problem as an organization we are facing in our day to day routine now we have a solution for that now we can integrate github repository with our power apps so in this episode i am going to talk about the github integration with power apps and i will show you how you can work with multiple developers at the same time using the single app so stay tuned throughout this end of the video also at the end of the video we will play one quiz and one lucky winner will get a shout out as well as certificate of appreciation from my end so play the quiz and win the prizes also one more important announcement if you haven't followed me on my instagram and twitter handle so far do follow me my instagram and twitter ids are available here or maybe in the description box so without further delay let's get started and talk about github integration with power apps here i am on my machine and here i have opened one canvas app now i want to achieve the functionality where the same app should be opened by multiple developers and multiple developers can work simultaneously on the same app so how can we achieve this kind of requirement for that we need to comes up with the approach of github integration with canvas app now let me show you the step by step procedure in order to start github integration with this canvas app also at the end i will show you how the changes by the different developers sync simultaneously in a single app so stay tuned till the end so without further delay let's get started and talk about github integration in detail the very first step is that you need to open one preview feature for that you simply need to click on this setting option click on upcoming feature and click on experimental feature over here you need to activate show the git version control setting so just turn it on and after you turn it on it will open up git version control tab for you over here basically you need to connect your github repository now let me show you how to connect that github repository over here but before that let me show you the step by step procedure in order to create github repository so first of all open the github.com and make sure that you have account on github if no then just sign up yourself and register yourself for the github i already have an account so i am simply sign in over here with my username and password i logged in with my github repository now the thing is that you need to create a new repository for your power apps canvas app for that click on new and over here just provide the name of the repository so let me just provide my repository name as yt git integration so i just provided the name of my github repository you can provide the description and from here you must need to select private because this github concept is only work for the private repository it doesn't work for any public repository after that select add a readme file and that will create main as the default branch in your repository now let's click on create and we are good for creating the repository so my repository has been created successfully now just copy this url from the top and go to your canvas app again over here you need to click on connect it is asking for three different parameters first is github repository url so simply paste the url that you just copied now whenever you are creating the github repository for the first time it is creating that main branch for you so you simply need to provide your branch name as main branch and over here you need to provide the name of the directory 
सो नाउ वॉट डिरेक्टरी नेम यू वॉन्टेड टू हैव इन योर गीट हब रिपोजिटरी सो लेट से दिस इज माई फेब्रिकम अकाउंट ऐप सो लेट मी जस्ट प्रोवाइड हियर माई नेम एज फेब्रिकम बिकॉज दिस इज माई ऐप एंड नाउ जस्ट क्लिक ऑन अप्लाई सो एज अ नेक्स्ट स्टेप इट इज आस्किंग फॉर यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड फॉर योर गीट हब रिपोजिटरी नाउ लेट्स जनरेट द पासवर्ड फर्स्ट फॉर दैट यू नीड टू अगेन गो टू योर गीट हब रिपोजिटरी यू नीड टू क्लिक हियर एंड क्लिक ऑन द सेटिंग ऑप्शन सो जस्ट क्लिक ऑन सेटिंग्स ओवर हियर यू विल फाइंड एन ऑप्शन कॉल डेवलपर सेटिंग्स सो जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दैट एंड ओवर हियर यू नीड टू क्लिक ऑन पर्सनल एक्सेस टोकन नाउ क्लिक ऑन जनरेट न्यू टोकन एंड प्रोवाइड द नेम ऑफ द एप और वॉट एवर द आइडियल नेम दैट यू वॉन्ट टू प्रोवाइड एंड जनरेट द टोकन सो लेट्स मी प्रोवाइड द नेम एज फेब्रिकम टोकन एंड फ्रॉम हियर यू नीड टू सिलेक्ट एक्सपायरेशन फॉर योर गीट हब रिपोजिटरी एक्सेस टोकन Now I am selecting no expiration from here, and from this scope, let's select this repo, and now just click on generate token. So what it will do is it will provide you the personal access token for you. So it has uh, created that personal access token for you, and now you simply need to copy this access token from here. So let me just copy this and paste it to some safe location. then you need to go here again and you need to simply sign in with your repository so just provide the github account username so let's say this is my github repository username dhruvinsha16 and let me just paste the personal access token that we just generated and now let's click on this sign in button now it is prompting us that do you want to create a directory that directory was not found in the branch would you like to create a new one so yes just click on it and we are good and here we are the github integration with this canvas app has been completed successfully now let's just close this pop up click on file and publish this app so let's publish this app once and meantime let's do one more thing just go to your github repository over here and just check if the, all the code is available or not so let me just go to this home page of my github and over here let me just open up the github repository that we just created and from this list we have created this particular repository yt git integration let's see and check if all this file are available here or not so over here you can see this is the folder which is created which is fabricum and over here this entire github architecture is created now each individual folder has its own meaning now what do we mean by this entire file structure this is something which i already explained in couple of my earlier videos which i launched around 5 to 6 month ago where we are making the same procedure using the powershell script so you can refer those video to understand what do we mean by each individual folder from this github repository so basically it will store all this information in form of yaml files now let's do couple of more updates over here so we are done with this app development and we successfully completed this github integration now once you complete your integration basically you will able to see this sync icon on the top using this sync icon basically it will sync up the update with your github repository as well as even if you simply click on save at that time also the changes are synced with the github repository now let me simply just close this app and after that let's do one more thing let's share this app with the other user and after that we will open the same app with both the user so this is the app which we have integrated now we simply need to click on share and let's share the same app with my another user which is power platform dev so i just added another user and make this user as a co owner 
and just clicked on share. The app has been shared successfully. Let me just open up the app in the edit mode. When I reopen the app, it is again asking me username and password. So simply you need to provide your GitHub repository's username. Remember that thing. And then you need to provide the personal access token that you just created and saved at the safe location. So let's paste the same thing. So every time when you open your Power Apps again after the GitHub integration, it will always ask you for this username and password thing. So make sure about that thing and remember that particular key and store that to the safe location. So that's one thing. Now let it to be open and yes, the app is open with Dhruvin's account. So let it to be open. Yeah, so it's been opened successfully. Now let me do one more thing. Let me open another user's account. So over here, I just logged in with another user, which is Power Platform Dev. Now, let me just open the same app with his account. So earlier, without GitHub integration, it will throw us an error that the app is locked to with the another user. But now let's see what will happen over here. So let me hit refresh and open the same app in the edit mode. So I'm just clicking on edit and let's see how it will look like. Now over here as well, it is asking me for the GitHub login. So over here as well, I need to provide my username for GitHub. So this is my GitHub username. So let me just provide it. And you need to paste the same personal access token that you have used for Dhruvin's account. So let's click on sign in and let's see how it will look like. And here we are. The same app is open with Power Platform Dev's account as well. So multiple users are able to access the same app at the same time. Now let me just open this app side by side. So here you can see I have opened both the account. One is Throwin's account and another is Power Platform Dev's account parallelly side by side. Now let's taste the GitHub functionality. So first of all, let me do one change. Let me make changes with Dhruvin's account. So I just opened up this label and let me just change the name of the label as Dhruvin. And now let me just click on save. So basically it will save this update. Now with Power Platform Dev's account, let's go to the screen too and let's make some changes over here into this label. Taste by PD Power Platform Dev. Now let me just save and let's see. And it is reading the screens over here. And let's see. So over here you can see it has loaded and Dhruvin's change is automatically reflected over here into the same page. So isn't that cool? And now if I go to Dhruvin's account and if I just click on sync, let's see if the screen to update that is done by Power Platform Dev that is being completed or not. So let it to be complete. And here we are. You can see that this change is automatically reflected over here. So isn't that cool? So you can see both the users has opened the same app and they are working on the same screen or the different screen and making the changes and those changes are saved automatically. So let's say for an example, over here, what I'm doing here is I'm just uh, doing one more change on the same screen. Let's say step two. I'm just adding the label name like this. Now, what I have done here is with Dhruvin, Dhruvin has saved this change. Now over here with Power Platform Dev, let me just add some label over here. So I need to go to insert menu and let's add some text label, right? And now let me just provide here the value as Power Platform Dev PD. And now let me just place it over here and let me change its color. Right? So it is looking like this. Now let me save the same changes with this particular Power Platform Dev's account. And after that, what we'll do is 
we will sync up the updates to check the all the changes has been merged properly or not so here we whenever we are saving the updates it will automatically pull the information from the github repository that we have synced up so you can see this update has been available here and now with Druvin's account I will just click on sync option or let's say whenever I click on save again it will automatically pull all the changes done by this particular user isn't that cool now multiple users can work on the same canvas app at the same time on the same screen so this integration has opened up lots of flexibility for us now for any large application, multiple users can work on the same app and we don't need to maintain multiple app. Every changes are committed to the git. So let's say if I go to my github repository now and let me just hit refresh to see if all the updates are available here or not. So let me just hit refresh over here. So I refreshed my github repository and over you can see here smart merge has been happened so let's say i'm clicking on this folder and you can see that whatever changes that we just made all changes are tracked here with this github repository so if we see this commit you will able to see what are the changes that has been done so you can see uh, on screen one and screen two we make couple of changes so it has tracked all the changes over here so you can see all the code updates over here and this push and pull mechanism is maintained automatically with this github repository so hope now you get a clear idea about how you can perform github integration with your canvas app now let me talk about couple of limitations with this particular functionality so this functionality is something which is in preview at this moment and let me just bring up one of the article over here which is mentioning some known limitation so the very first limitation is that this approach is only applicable for canvas app you can't apply this feature for code component app meaning if you have used any pcf component in your canvas app at the time this approach will not work also this feature doesn't work with public github repository which i already talked when we have created that github repository at the very start also this feature is not apply on on-premise github repository you must need to use the github repository which is hosted on web and accessible with the username and personal access token only so remember that thing and the last thing is edit to the same property on the same control cannot be merged the last edit will win over here so remember that thing so with this i'm good about everything for this github integration Hope this video helps you and values your time. Now it's time for quiz. One lucky winner will get a shout out from my Instagram page as well as certificate of appreciation. So keep answering in the comment section. So the first question here is we can use public GitHub repository with the GitHub integration of Canvas app. Is this statement is true or false? Just answer in the comment section. The second question is GitHub integration not work with the following option A code component, option B on premise GitHub repository, option C both, and option D none. So just answer your question in the comment section and win the prizes from me. With this, I am done with this session. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. If you are looking for any training or consultancy, this is the website. If you want to follow me on all my social media handles, this is the link. If you wanted to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, these are the links. If you wanted to listen different audio podcasts on Power Platform, this is the link. If you are interested for short content on Power Platform, the dedicated channel Digital Throwin is here. Subscribe that channel and show your love over here as well. With this, this is Thruveen signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.